and the farm surveillance cameras, which might have shown Todd's movement in the farmyard, were strangely shut down during the pivotal time frame. There was a specific time frame that actually both cameras, uh, they weren't recording, uh, and then they picked up after the incident. And Todd and his supporters continued to insist it had been an accident, citing Amy's medical condition. She had surgery a few days prior um, so she wasn't steady on her feet to begin with. And she could have, you know, tripped or gotten dizzy. It could have fallen into her if she would have, you know, been caught off guard or by surprise. It, it could have been a freak farm accident. It happens. But then a tipping point in the case, as investigators carried out a series of search warrants on the Mullis farm. Well, all the, all the electronic devices from the residence um, were seized. Uh, computers, laptops, iPads, phones and we ended up getting uh, Google searches back uh, from uh, Todd's iPad. Google searches for uh, topics like uh, what did the Aztecs do with cheating spouses and placement of the organs in the body. It was a prosecutor's dream. 16 facts about cheating women. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Did ancient cultures kill adulterers? Thrill of the kill killing unfaithful women. Punishment is 18 months for killing cheating wife. The, the content of those Google searches were a key fact to our investigation. The time had come to place Todd Mullis under arrest. I was receiving phone calls from people that knew the family and urging me to use caution when you go arrest Todd. One guy specifically said, you guys take plenty of help with you when you go arrest him. They found him in one of the hog barns. I'd asked him to step out to, outside to speak with me, and when, and when he had, I had told him I had an arrest warrant for, uh, for his arrest, and I was placing him under arrest for murder in the first degree. Todd Mullis would be held behind bars for almost seven months before his trial began, and he would continue to insist on his innocence and gain a legion of supporters from far beyond Iowa. I thought, well, I'll start a Facebook group, and we're up to over 300 now, and he, he couldn't have killed her. He just, he's not that type of person. Um, he's an honest, hardworking farmer um, who wanted his family to stay together. I, I just don't, I don't believe he did this. And that kind of support and encouragement helped to convince Todd Mullis he should take the stand in his own defense and see if he could persuade the jury of the very same thing. State your name, please. Todd Michael Mullis. <laughs>